Cheyenne was a rescue from down south, and um, she turned out to be heartworm positive. And the folks here at Central, the folks here at Central Hospital, they're my angels when I can't be here to um, take care of Shy. And without them, <laughs> I don't. Cheyenne would definitely not be here. White blood cell count was pretty much depleted. Um, there was concern about infection spreading, but it was described that his system had shut down and was preparing um, for death. It's always a very stressful situation anytime you're dropping a family member off for any surgery and not kn knowing what's going on after you drop them off. And I always inform clients that there's multiple veterinarians here that have different specialties and different input where uh, they can feel safe that their animal's in good hands. And then there's multiple nurses constantly checking on them and taking their vital signs and making sure that they're doing well. The surgeries are often pretty much the same as we've done for a long time. Um, but some of the peripheral things now are just so much more sophisticated. All the diagnostic tools, um, you know, we can tell owners their dog can be having a CT scan, then they can go straight into surgery with a much more accurate diagnosis and the surgeon knowing much more about what they're going to be able to do. We were just shocked at two years old, cataracts and bulb eyes. He was a patient that lost vision due to cataract formation, and he was bumping into objects, couldn't see anything, wasn't playing with toys. He was even snapping and biting at the kids because he became startled. The joy of that particular type of surgery is that they literally go under anesthesia blind and they're waking up able to see again. Like the reaction of him seeing us, was awesome because he could see us. Like you could just tell he could see better even a day out of surgery. Even though he's in a, his little cone, he ran straight to them and they could see him, he could see them. And it was a nice reunion for him because he came in not having any vision and came out with quite good vision. And that was all the same day. He came in and he told me that's when it was her ACL her cruciate ligament, and they did the surgery. I brought her in on that Monday, and they did the surgery on Tuesday, and I was a wreck. We're trying as much as we possibly can to get away from the use of um, narcotics unless they have to be used. Most of my surgeries are limb surgeries, um, and a large number of them are hind limb surgeries, so having an epidural is perfect. Um, they don't need quite as much um, intravenous drugs during recovery. Some dogs, the first dogs that we operate on in the morning, are often up walking and eating by four o'clock in the afternoon. I, that's why I come back, is because I trust in what they're doing. Um, I've never felt like they're pushing more on me than the dogs need. Um, I don't feel that I need to second guess them. During the time frame between when they drop off and before surgery, they get a lot of attention here. They're, they're constantly being evaluated by the nursing staff and they have nice cozy beds, lots of padding. We try and keep them as comfortable as possible because they're stressed out as much as you are. They're in a different environment, different smells. Well, well money well spent, you know, to have his personality back, loves to go walking, happy to see the kids, lovey, um, well worth it. Can't put a price on it. Like I always felt like I was a priority, even though I know that, you know, the hospital has other patients. Um, you never feel like your dog isn't getting the best treatment. So I want her to be on her A-game and I want her to be healthy. She's actually, right now, she's healthier than I am. <laughs> I think I need to start coming to Central Hospital. 